This is lovely. It's a good guitar, right? Beautiful. Oh, thanks, man. I'm really happy about it, yeah. So, hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Um, you're on the Tolman channel, and we have the guys from Dead Pedal Show, Mick and Dan. Dudes, thank it's, you for joining us. always great to see you. Yes, oh, man. man. Yes. And it's always wonderful. Um, Hans Tolman has allowed us to use his front room, and I'm really <laughs> pleased <laughs> Original wallpaper and everything. <laughs> <laughs> We're sitting in a weird house. It's pretty spooky too, but I don't know. It's kind of kind of fun. It is spooky, right? I'm not just I'm not the only one. It is yeah, spooky. Yeah. Okay. It is hands right. time. You have not been um, to the attic actually, which you, which you call loft in Britain, right? An attic. Yeah. yeah. And that's Especially that's, that's spooky. Aerosmith but okay. we are here to talk about fresh gear because the guys from Rev Amplification. Um, brought out the brand new G2 pedal, which is this one here. Um, I know you someone, know about the series, I, right? I do know someone who makes a product called G2 already, oh. actually. Oh, oh, I yeah. wonder. Mm. Is it like a, I don't know, it's like a, an a Australian block, blank. right? Some kind of half ass pedal switcher. <laughs> He's a just And it's definitely not that. <laughs> no, no, no. No. So they have this um, amp called Generator, which has the biggest one, has four channels. It has the clean, the crunch, the one high gain and the other high gain channel. And they did both high gain channels as pedals before, which is cool for all the uh, you know, hard rock metal players. Yep. But what about us? So uh, they thought, okay, they have a pretty damn good crunch channel yep. on their amps. The green channel is, is what most non uh, high gain players prefer because it cleans okay. up very well. It has a very nice range of gain and tonal possibility. Mm -hmm. So they thought, okay, let's um, let's transform it into a pedal, give it a bit of an own mojo and character, and uh, let's see how people like it. Lovely. Okay. So what I thought is it's probably interesting to bring two classics, yes. Boost Driver from Boss, and obviously the TS, uh, the Mini this time. And um, I love the color coordination that's going on here. Yeah, that's you see the balance. Nice. Yes, yeah, very nice. <laughs> it is. It's, it appeals to my sense of CD. Oh, <laughs> CD. Oh, <laughs> it's so, hot. It's hot. We're in Germany. We're in Hans Thoman's uh, sitting room. <laughs> <laughs> he's a very modest guy, despite like a billion euros turnover. He's a very modest guy. Well, here's a funny story. Um, like two days ago or something. Um, I was I, I passed him like somewhere in the campus, and uh, he was just with someone around, and there was a customer, you know, really lost with his cell phone, and we don't have reception here, <laughs> and uh, he was like, oh. so Hans went to him and was like, can I help? And he was like, yeah, I wanted to call my wife, you know, whatever, to pick me up or something. He's like, ah, here you go. <laughs> Gave him his, his company phone, and he's like, oh, thank you. I had no idea who the guy is, you know, he's the you know head of the and everything. He's like, oh, thanks. Well, uh, thank you. Goodbye. Bye. -bye. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, okay, you know, why not? Yeah, whatever. Um, we're here to talk about pedals. Um, let's see where it sits. We, we go off on tangents all the time I on the show. <laughs> I love that we've bought the tangent to Tom Ant. Yeah. This is what we do? Yeah. It's great. It's probably because I watch too many Let Pedal Show episodes. We put the you toes in Tom Ant. We put the man in Tom Ant as well, right? Um, I almost brought my, uh, my broccoli uh, socks, but I... Then I had You've got socks to go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Do you actual, want to see it tomorrow? Yeah. He's oh. putting the um in tone. <laughs> yes. Um. All right, who so. Who um, okay. wants to play? Who wants to tweak? Let's uh, I'll tweak. do a few rounds. Yeah. I start playing, then you yeah, play, yeah, yeah. and then whatever. So, we have the merge delay from Fender just to juice things up. Yep. And um, a hand wire box bar. We don't have to use it, it's just there. <laughs> Okay. Daniel, I brought the locks. Uh, uh, is, this is the pedal cam, presumably. Yes. So, yes. Daniel. It's a head cam. Keep too. my bald head out Ca of the pedal careful. cam. <laughs> um, careful and Z. Ah. <laughs> that probably means something I'm really the bad. I'm Oh, my cop. Yeah. Oh, my cop. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Okay. sound right there. Yeah. That is, <laughs> that's great. Oh my god. Yeah.
it's nice. In the middle, it's off, and mm -hmm. then it gets sort of sparkly and more gainy. Mm -hmm. Sorry, that was <laughs> Very close with the blues driver. The, the tube scream is warmer. Um, it, there's a. It's spongier, isn't it? Now? Yeah, yeah. But the the blues driver is really close. Yeah. And what's interesting, you can use it instead of two other pedals, which is cool because you can center the uh, sort of a, a, a mid pushy screamer yeah. kind of pedal yeah, yeah, yeah. and, Imme and push obvious. something with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you use it as a sort of a, an OCD blues driver kind of more of a. <clears throat> Sound and kick it with something with like a tube screamer in front of it. Actually, if you just play that for us, and I'm mm -hmm. gonna put the tube screamer into, oh, into yeah. this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Does, yeah. It does. It yeah. so, does. So these are spongier. Yeah. Shall we yeah. say? They, it does feel like there's more headroom in the yeah. in the rev. For yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. presumably that would translate all the way if you wanted to get like just like a boosty type. Yeah. A boosty type sound. Yeah. Should we have yeah. a different guitar? Oh yes. Uh, Dan. Here's a. Uh, oh wow. Bill, which is I think uh, sort of a newer one, the semi hollow version. There you go. Stay on the hot rod, then uh, maybe we'll uh, switch over to by 12 to see how that goes. press at all like when you dig in like really oh, really full yeah, on yeah. but if, if we did the it, same it, thing okay sorry what I'm just gonna say if we did if I turn that off and did the same thing here yeah. and I d Hang dig on. in yeah. here it's compressing it yeah, yeah. Yeah. that's oh yeah. I hear already yeah. 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 But that's Incredible. that's headroom. Yeah. That's headroom. Yeah. And that's. Uh, do we know if it has an internal voltage increase? No. We don't. Know. I'm, I'm guessing it. It does, sounds like it to me. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 it has huge. Crazy headroom. Headroom. Yeah. And, you, so. and you definitely should not use it with more voltage. So I'm guessing it does. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So let's. Um, so we've heard it poke your eyes out. Does it stir you in the groin? Give it some bridge. <laughs>
Okay, wow, I love the mids. It's it has a, an interesting upper mid yeah, yeah. character somehow, like sure. something going on. Let me just try. Let's do this again. <laughs> Is this standard? Yeah. yeah. Man. Yeah. <laughs> It's so interesting because that, uh, because it doesn't compress the way you have to, there's a dynamic level to it. So you can be a lot more, the subtleties oh, yeah. come out yeah. a lot more. Yeah. Um, the picking dynamics come out more. It's Yeah, it's really interesting. I, For me, it's doing a different job yeah. than these yeah. two. Yeah. But it sounds ace. Have, have schwangage. What's this guitar? Is the Furious Vela the S2 Vela Hollow Body? Yes, of things. the new newer Hollow. Great. It's good. It's good. every tone has like a, a bloom to it. it it kind of stays round even though we have all the gain in and and all the treble in pretty much it's uh, it's not cutting your head off can we switch it into the rev yeah, yeah. oh absolutely because the, the whole world deluxe has got such a, a distinctive mid-range mid yeah. 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 bump yeah. hasn't it a really yeah. super distinctive mid-range I'll just play, I'll try and play the same thing we yeah. the pedals all the, the same rev, the um, just the rev alone yeah uh, can we just stay with the same sound? Oh, oh, oh sorry, 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 sorry. Different pedal, couldn't it? Yeah, yeah. So that's which is always an interesting thing to consider. You know, a pedal doesn't always sound the same at all. It depends on your guitar, your playing, your amp, your cables, even. It <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Mm. 
Oh yeah, and then, and then always. I'll, I'll shut up after that. But <laughs> no, no. I'm just wondering if Good we're bit. hearing some of the bark off that mm -hmm. off mm -hmm. pickup of that guitar. mid-range coming from somewhere. I think because um, what I know from the guys is that they always um, consider um, making these capable of going in front of the amp and being used as a preamp. Oh really? So oh, they okay. always they Just always put on uh, enough yeah, yeah, amount yeah. of you know uh, volume EQ possibilities that you can you know stick it into a, a really dull and pretty flat I don't know a power amp or a really you know crazy um, preamp channel so and it's it's there's no tube in it or anything it's no, just no, no, straight no. yeah no. yeah no. Cleans up beautifully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, just a tiny bit warmer mm. than like the uh, blues driver does when you turn back. Right. But it, but it's it's kind of a, a nice and soft uh, sound still. Yeah, it's cool. Great. It's cool. cool. It's certainly very versatile. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. EQ is massive. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. So and the gain range, which is interesting, because mm. uh, you turned the gain way down mm. and went up with the volume. It was like pretty much. Yeah, neutral. pretty clean. Yeah, sure, pretty much yeah. clean. Was, yeah, clean you can move. do the transparent thing if you want it. Mm. Yeah. One thing I want to try now, uh, now um, while we are uh, with the 2x12. Thank you for this guitar, by the way. Oh, oh you're it's welcome. Very, that's very kind <laughs> yeah. of you. It's um, not that bad, right? This is How does wonderful. it compare to your butterscotch? Uh, it's Just a tension here. It's. Hmm. It's a bit tighter than butters. Butters okay. is. is uh, doesn't have, but it has no gloss on it. 
oh. in any way. Oh, okay. It's just beaten to death. Oh, really? It's the same. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a heavy relic. Yeah. Heavy yeah. relic. Yeah. It, it, when you say tighter, do you mean... Because when I play Butters, I always think that it has like a natural compression about it. Yes. Do you okay. mean that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it... Um, yeah, butter sounds like you've got a compressor on all the time. Oh, okay. Whereas this is this is and more uh, of a jump. Yeah, the, 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 yeah, the, yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Whereas red sounds the opposite of that. Yeah. Red sounds like the compressor is minus. <laughs> <laughs> Decompressed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, this Crazy. is this is lovely. I'd I'd love to uh, try a hanging sound. So um, boost it with a tube screamer and get a, a good hanging sound while we are in the sure. in the two by twelve. Uh, so what do you want me to change something? On no, here? no, no, no. Uh, stick no. to the clean sound, like um, a nice. Yep. Neutral. So we're going to okay. go for a high gain sound with the yeah, rubber cake. Yeah. Just um, try to have a nice balanced, sort of a chunky, riffy sound. Interestingly, that the gain is usable throughout the whole range. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It doesn't just get to a point and then compress and then just compress, compress, compress. That sounds, yeah. Yeah. sounds killer from here. Yeah. Yeah. It's and really interestingly enough, the tube screamer doesn't uh, only tighten it up; it also opens it up, mm. which is a big difference to the blues driver, which only gets creamier and yeah. mid ranger yeah, which, yeah, yeah. which it lacks a little bit, and this reacts a different way. Yeah. So putting when you're putting a boost like this in front of, of a of a gain pedal. Which is it's it's an overdrive pedal, so you think the gain the gain, it's causing limiting. Yeah. Right. Yeah. As when you put the boost into it, it's going to cause more limiting. But interesting with this is when you put the boost in it, it's it's getting more gain. Yeah. But not it's not overly compressing. You know what I mean? It's not becoming mush. Yeah. yeah. And I think and and the you know which is why, um, heavy guys love a tube screamer, into high gain amplifiers. Yeah. It gives yeah. them that mid range push. Times at the bottom end yeah, of it a little bit. Yeah. Is this because of the um, the big um, headroom in the rack pedal? Yeah. Is this why so it reacts it's, like this? It's reacting more like the way an amp would react. Okay. Which is not a huge surprise because yeah. it's yeah, yeah. going for a, um, a preamp sound. Yeah. Yes. Sound. It fits into that whole thing you were saying about yeah. it needs to function as a preamp as well. Yeah. 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 And as a pedal too. I mean, yeah. you know, you should not sacrifice the main usage of, of something like this, which is right in front of your preamp. So, uh, that's very cool. It's very nice. Mm. Interesting. It's very nice. It's also a very crowded market, is it not? Uh, yeah, but this is really green. <laughs> there are not a lot of green pedals, right? I was thinking, what would you? I mean, for a delay pedal, what would you, like an, like a, what do you got? Like a uh, DL four, um, or it's another green delay pedal. Carbon copy. The carbon copy. Oh yeah. There we go. I'm just, as, you know, all have an entirely green pedal board. Oh. Uh, There's a live goal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care it sounds as long as it's green. <laughs> Some people won't buy green cars. Did you know that? Really? Bad luck. Well, yeah. I've learned something. There we go. <laughs> it's I'd tangent a, time. I'd happily have a green, a green car or a Sherwood green strat or a Seafoam green Jazzmaster or a Surf green Jazzmaster. Oh, 
Yeah. Sea from green. Yeah. yeah. Nice. That's that's my place, my happy place. All right. Thank you very much, guys. You're welcome. You're and so um, welcome. thank you, Rev, for up providing the, us up uh, the, the two dudes. We yeah. Love, we love Canadians. Um, yeah. So give um, the guys from that Pro show some love. Uh, check out their channel if you didn't. I know you did, but uh, don't forget to uh, watch all their videos. It's incredible what they're doing. Uh, I'm a huge fan. It's just it's like this, but not quite as good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Habala, habala. Yeah, right. Thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, do all the good stuff. Comment down there. Subscribe and hit the bell and everything. And uh, don't forget to check out that pedal show. Cheers. Bye. Take care.